Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over the pulmonary lobule model. And before I get into the branching of the different bronchus and then how it goes into the bronchioles on this, I want to show you this diagram that's here on the base of the model. Because what this is showing is how it branches into each of the different parts. So what number one is, this is what's known as the segmental bronchus. And number two, from this point on, these are the bronchioles. So what's separating them is that at the end of this part, there's no more cartilage. So once you go past the cartilage, you're then getting into the bronchioles. So the segmental bronchus is also known as the tertiary bronchus. Those terms are used synonymously. So then the further subdivisions of the bronchioles include the preterminal, then you have the terminal, and then from there it then branches into the uh, respiratory bronchioles. So that's this, so that's number six. And then after the respiratory bronchioles, you have all of the um, alveolar sacs. So that's here what um, number seven is. So then what number uh, four, number four is known as the pulmonary um, acini. So this is the um, fundamental unit of the lung. So that's what uh, number four is. And then number three is the pulmonary uh, lobule. Okay, so now that we've seen it here on the base, let's start to break it down, uh, starting from the top. Okay, so up here, because this is the cartilage here, that's, which is uh, number two, this marks the end of the tertiary bronchus. So then from this point on, this is goes into the bronchioles. So you have the uh, preterminal bronchioles, which is going to be this region. And then the terminal bronchioles are going to be once it branches into this part. So then from there, you have the respiratory bronchioles, so that's uh, number eight. And then you have each of these individual alveoli which make up one entire alveolar sac. So some of the other structures here at the bronchial, so all of this, this is the smooth muscle. So that's what number, uh, number six is. Or I think it's actually number, number three on your key. Um, and then you also have these elastic fibers, so that's what these guys are, these little, um, these little elevations here. So then, if we work our way back down, once you get into the respiratory bronchial, you have the alveolar duct, so that is what number 10 is. And then, uh, what I have is number 11. So once again, uh, number 11, this includes, first off, the um, entire alveolar sac, as well as the respiratory, uh, the respiratory bronchial. Okay, so, the next thing to kind of look at is uh, number 14. So what this, this is the capillary bed. So you have the pulmonary artery, which is coming away from the heart because it's deoxygenated blood. And then it further branches into the pulmonary arterial. So that's what's coming in this direction. And then you have the exchange of the respiratory gases, which occurs here. So then going up this way, these are the pulmonary veins. So these are the pulmonary venules coming up and then it'll then become the pulmonary vein, which is going upwards to then dump oxygenated blood into the uh, left atrium. Okay, uh, one other uh, blood v uh, vessel I wanted to point out. So uh, number 12, uh, this is what's known as the bronchial branch. So this is supplying um, oxygenated blood to the lung tissue itself. It, it's not involved with the gas exchange, which is occurring there at um, number 14. So then, uh, if you look at number 15, you'll see all of these elastic baskets. And so what these are responsible for is the recoil of the alveoli themselves, because once they're filled with air, they're going to expand. And then um, once they uh, recoil, that's what's uh, done by these elastic um, baskets. Okay, so now we can look at some of the uh, different layers here. So you have a 
a parietal layer which lines the body cavity and then you have the visceral layer which covers the organ itself. So uh, number 18 is what's known as the serosa and then number 17 is the sub serosa of the visceral layer. Number 16, this, these are the uh, elastic fibers of the sub serosal layer. And then uh, number 19, this is what's known as the interlobular uh, septum. Okay, so then if we look at here on the back side, this is one single alveoli. And some of the different uh, features of it, so you have these capillaries here, so that's listed as number 22, so all of these are the capillaries. And then you also have the elastic baskets, so that's 15, right here responsible for recoil. And then you also have the different types of cells. So you have the smooth muscle cells, which is number 24. And then you also have the type one, which are the squamous cells here. And then, so type one is 23, and then type two is number uh, 21. So this is a cuboidal cell. And then number 20, this is just the, uh, just the flat, just the epithelium of the alveol of the alveoli. You can see that it kind of folds on itself in this direction. And then you also have number 25, so this is the alveolar uh, macrophage. Okay, so that's going to do it for uh, this video.